It's time for Show Off Sunday, where everyone has a chance to show off their own car, and here's this week's winner. Hello, Scotty, and hello to all the Scotty fans out there. My name is Bart, and this is my pride and joy, 1989 Polish Fiat 126, or Polski Fiat as they're called. So I'm sure you all are very familiar with the Fiat, original Fiat 500, or the Cinquecento as it's called. That's the car that was built in the 50s, 60s, and early 70s in Italy, and the car motorized Italy. Well, this car motorized Poland. Over 4 million of these cars were made, over 3 million, 3.6 million in Poland. It was a car meant to be a car for every Kowalski, as they say, for equivalent of about 20 month salaries you could buy this piece of wonderful automotive technology. Cars were rationed, they were very hard to come by, uh, and 20 months of average salary, as you can imagine, that was a lot of money. So really, if you were to get this car, uh, you felt like you won a lottery ticket. This car had a very long production run. It started in 1972 and finished in 2000. All right, so let's quickly go through the car and discuss its technical features, or lack thereof. Uh, first, I'm sure you're all dying to see the engine. So here it is, 24 horsepower in its full glory. Two-cylinder, air-cooled, 24 horsepower engine that's been really transplanted to this car from the original Fiat 500. There were some improvements changed, uh, it's made and, and the engine was uh, increased from 600 cc to 650, but still a lot of the parts are shared between this engine and the Fiat 500. Because of that, the parts are still pretty plentiful. You can uh, also fix this engine very easily. The joke goes that if you have a 10 millimeter, 13 millimeter and a Phillips screwdriver and a pair of pliers, you can pretty much uh, replace everything on this, on this car. 12 inch tires. The car body is an FL, stands for face lifted, so this car actually has got some more uh, features than they were not present on the original car, and because this car is an export car, it also has some additional features that were not present on the original car, such as openable rear windows. This sunroof, which we actually do not know whether it's a factory for export vehicles or um, this is something that's been added in the aftermarket. I can tell you for sure that uh, none of the Polish cars that I remember from my childhood had the sunroof. And in Poland, sunroof probably not really all that important. Heating is a lot more important. Inside, believe it or not, my brother, I, uh, and my parents would uh, travel in this car on family trips. This actually has an upgraded interior. You can see cloth as opposed to vinyl, but it's very Spartan, very utilitarian, but it gets the job done. The max speed of this car is about 120 kilometers an hour. Actually, this car will go that fast. It goes faster than the book uh, value, so it's about 70 some miles per hour. It uh, gets about 36 to 40 miles per gallon, and the 0 to 60 is astonishing 45, 45 seconds or so. It depends if you are driving by yourself or if you have uh, people with you. Four speed transmission. Uh, first gear is non-synchronized, so you must come to a full stop, otherwise it will grind the gears, but it's very, very basic and very straightforward. Front compartment. That's all you get. So unfortunately, because of such a limited space, you had to improvise. Uh, so if you were going on vacation, uh, you would have to have a luggage uh, rack on the roof, and uh, Load, load up the car. The car actually weighs about 1300 pounds, so um, doesn't have a lot of power reserves and everything like that, but uh, you could actually uh, add a, a luggage rack, and believe it or not, people would be traveling with a front compartment uh, full, with a luggage rack, and actually a towing a, uh, a little camper behind that was actually specifically designed for this car. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do have any uh, questions or, or comments about this particular car, I do have a, or Alex and I have a YouTube channel called, called Fiat 126P. That's Fiat 126P, P stands for Polski. And uh, so you send us some comments and watch our episodes where we share some of the additional uh, information about the maintenance, 
and ownership of this very unique vehicle. Thanks for watching. Well, that was this week's video, and remember, to have your car video highlighted here on my channel, check this out. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.